as I'm going to come to you with a, a relatively quick project in, a, in, a, in something that sells I, a pretty well. It's kind of hit or miss, but when they sell, they sell well. Um, and those are these things here. Uh, wine glass or cup holders for the lawn. And they, uh, they turn out pretty, pretty nice. Uh, not, not too difficult to make either. So I put a leaf or feather, whatever they see is what they get. Uh, on this end, a uh, curve and a bend. At a point, you're done. So let's get at it. All right, so I, I start off with 5 16 round stock, 3 8 will work, rebar, uh, 3 8 rebar will work, any reclaimed stock. You probably don't want to go much lower than 5 16 though. You want a little bit of rigidity in there. Uh, first thing we need to do is upset this end just a little bit. I don't spend a lot of time at it because it's not extremely worth it. Um, it, it doesn't add that much value. We're not going for a very dramatic leaf. So I'm going to upset this end a little bit and then come back and start putting this leaf on. All right, we're not going for anything crazy here. Just, it gets one shot for me and that's it. Whatever I get out of it is what I get because there is enough seal to do what you want to do there. On its own with uh, 3 eighths especially, 5 sixteenths a little tight, but it, you, you definitely can get what you want out of it. So, man, if I can get the ample. So just one series of upsetting. Again, it's not a major, where am I? Not a major upset, but just enough to get a little extra meat there. Go back in the fire for the leaf heat. So we're going ahead, sorry about the more outside. We got a happening going on this weekend, so we're cleaning up that area, making it look pretty. Here we go, put a little taper on the front, about two inches, two and a half inches is what you're looking to get enough meat for that leaf. And again, you're not gonna go quite down as far as you would for a leaf because the stem, I don't want it too thin. So, and I come back maybe another two inches on the taper just to make it look hammered. Very often this is all done in one heat. All right, when you come back, you find where your center is going to be, and you start stretching that out. Cross beam. Jeez, Louise, two in a row. First project of the day. It doesn't do my anvil, no more cross beam any good. So again, you stretch that out, or get the peens in there. Go back to the heat and try to get that done in, in two heats. Form the leaf, first stretch, and then flatten it all out in the second heat. Hopefully in that second heat, you're also able to put the lines in uh, for the leaf. Give it a little second heat. Again, we're going to flatten that thing out. Try to keep its geometry. I'm not going for leaf nor feather, something in between, and let them choose what it is when, they get, when they're looking at them. Don't worry about making it perfect because it doesn't need to be. Something like that works fine. We have plenty of heat left to go down to put the lines in. Uh oh, too much heat on the end on that one. That's the bitch of it right there, children. Damn it. Alright, well. Chandler just got himself a. Oh. Okay, so the lines look good. I went too deep on the end. I split it. Ruined this piece. We're just going to keep going with it because you know what? Sometimes ruin doesn't, doesn't uh, mean ruin until you're done. I probably just ruined the piece. Worse than that, forgot to put the texture in. So let's try this again. You come out before you put the lines in. I'm going to have to start this over again. Small cross pin, just put a bunch of texture rolling up to the point. I see that splitting that leaf will look good. Alright, typically I do the texture before I put the lines in, but you know we all F up. Actually, I like that split now. See, so, you now we're getting a little organic nature, kind of like a split in a feather. It'd be nice if it was back a little bit. It's not going to affect the function as long as nobody's going to get snagged on it, I think we're okay. We'll see what it looks like when it's done. But again, let me just slow down here for a second. Second heat, flatten it. On a black heat, you can still do this. Put the texture in with whatever it is you use for texture. I use a small two pound cross bean hammer. In that same heat, very often you're able to go back and put the lines in. It should happen in one heat. I mean, this looks cool too. By putting the texture in after the lines, it softens the lines more. It's totally your call. We're gonna go back in the heat now for the bend though. 
You can certainly do that freehand, and I did for a long time, but I, I went, went ahead and put myself together this jig. Uh, technically, it's a three inch pipe, three inch OD pipe. Uh, I just welded it to a piece of angle iron so that it would fit into my vise. Uh, this is actually flat stock. I didn't have any three inch pipe, so I just bent my own. And uh, whatever it takes, needed to make a tool. But that's the jig I use to put the the curb in. Three inches is just big enough and just small enough for for most applications on a wine glass or a cup. You don't need a crazy amount of heat for this next move, but enough. And I just come around my mandrel like this. I get the thing bent where I want it. And then what I like to do is I hold this leaf in a particular spot. These are all things you'll learn as you do them until you get where you want come back a little just to stretch it out uh, swing that a little bit more and then you come back where you want that 90 to be and all in one heat you should be able to again go a little too far come back it gets you a nice cleaner corner get the shape that you want on the anvil i go ahead and just just square everything up so that i'm happy with it Probably can't see me, but that's what I'm doing. And there you have that step. Now, when I put that 90 in, a kind of couple things you need to think about is the amount of space between here and here. You got to be able to get the stem of the uh, wine glass through. Try to keep it, you know, round. It looks better when it's nice and round. And uh, on this 90, you want you want everything to kind of be flat so when the cup's sitting in there it's flat so that part's done this is going to be one for Chandler because I don't like to play it didn't turn out well I could try to do something but hey you know what Chandler needs to hold a wine glass well actually I don't but <laughs> hold something sometime I'm sure so the next step would be to put the point on the end and we're basically done